Toby Fox just took a job as the new Masahiro Sakurai, and he has a bold new plan for a game in which you date a hot dog girl? Because this is Toby Fox we're talking about. Of course he wants a game where you date a hot dog girl. Last year, having concluded work on two sets of Fighters Pass DLC for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Masahiro Sakurai decided to reshuffle his life a little, stepping away from game design with Nintendo in favour of a new, relatively easy job – YouTuber. In addition to moving away from work on Smash Bros., though, Sakurai also brought an end to his long-running work as a columnist for Famitsu Magazine. For years, his columns in the Japan-only magazine had given fans special insight into his creative process, an itch which is now scratched by his YouTube channel. Enter Toby Fox, creator of Undertale and, more recently, Deltarune Chapters 1 and 2. While Fox is still hard at work on Chapter 3, an update dropped recently in which he explains that work is going fine – there's a link in the description to read more – he's also taken over Sakurai's Famitsu column. And wow, he really has taken over it. There's a full two-page spread of just annoying dogs. It's amazing. These columns are apparently going to be a monthly occurrence moving forward, and this means an excellent opportunity to see more of what's going on in Toby Fox's head. He is not normally a person who relishes the opportunity for an interview, hence why he claims that he was bitten by and subsequently transformed into an annoying dog himself. As such, ordinarily, our only glimpses at Fox's creative process while working on Deltarune are the occasional updates on his website, or cryptic tweets that feature giant toilets, and little more. Now though, Fox will be writing a regular column, talking about the games he's playing and the inspiration he takes from them. It's not quite the same as speculating about Sakurai's column on the popularity of Among Us, but if anything, it's an even more wild ride. Unfortunately, Famitsu is a Japanese magazine, and as such, it's not exactly stocked in your local WH Smiths or equivalent newsagent. Fortunately, it is available for purchase online, and as such, we can now bring you a loose translation of the weird nonsense that Toby is spouting this month. It involves a dating simulator visual novel, and a lot of hot dogs. Toby starts by talking about how glad he is that he learned Japanese, as it allows him to play games that have never been localised outside of Japan. One game he's been playing recently is Tokimeki Memorial, on the original PlayStation. This is a game that is incredibly well known in Japan, and which has inspired many of the country's most popular visual novels. That said, the original game has never been localised. The game involves levelling up homework stats while going on dates with cute girls, trying not to upset any of your friends in case they spread rumours about you at school. Playing the PlayStation version of the original game, Toby Fox naturally found his mind wandering to the subject of hot dogs. According to Fox, most girls in the game have a very clearly defined type, and it's pretty easy to spot their likes and dislikes. For example, the shy girl with glasses likes libraries, the mad scientist girl likes conquering the world. The game is not subtle. So, says Toby, imagine there's a girl wearing a hot dog costume. I have a choice of dating locations – the planetarium or the hot dog shop. While I'm on a date at the hot dog shop, I have some choices of dialogue. Dry hot dogs look like cat poop – no good answer. Some of the light emitted by the hot dog water comes from a star that can be seen a billion light years away. I like hot dogs – best answer. I reply, I like hot dogs, and she blushes. That's how the game lets me know she likes me. Since then, she invites me to walk her home every day after school. She says things like, I'm not blushing, I just have ketchup on my face. Eventually, we arrive at a park. What a lovely park, she says. Then, her expression suddenly becomes cloudy. But I'm afraid of birds. Two days later, a nasty rumour about me spreads around the school. Apparently I went to a hamburger shop and hot dog girl feels betrayed. There's a bomb icon next to her name, and if I leave it there for a few days, it will explode and cover all the other girls in mustard. Dirty, says Toby. Naturally, the article ends with hot dog girl getting pecked at by birds – because of course it does – and then Toby Fox wonders whether Konami will put this newly invented character into an upcoming game in the series. Similarly, if Deltarune Chapter 3 features a talking hot dog, we'll all know exactly where the idea came from. If this is just the first of Toby Fox's new columns for Famitsu, it's exciting to find out what he's going to talk about next.
Meanwhile, Masahiro Sakurai has revealed that his YouTube videos are being translated into English by a company called 8-4, after he was given their contact details by… none other than Toby Fox. The moral of the story is, I like hot dogs.